It wasn't all that long ago a school district in northwest Georgia was dealing with their own active shooter situation. You may remember when a teacher at Dalton High School pleaded guilty for firing a gun and barricading himself inside a classroom. This was 2018. Since then, the Dalton public school system spent millions of dollars upgrading technology and protocols for security. Liam Collins found out why those upgrades mean even more after what happened in Uvalde. In the last three years alone, Dalton Public Schools have invested in safety measures like doors that only unlock from the inside, but also badges like these. Hit this button right here three times and it will immediately call for medical assistance. Hitting it seven times in a row, though, that's the real serious part. That's when it will immediately call police officers to respond and put the whole school into lockdown. There's probably never enough, what you feel like is enough money. Uh, we're going to make sure we are good stewards of it. And so far, Dalton Public Schools has used that money for the worst case scenario. In 2019, the district spent millions to put access to immediate emergency assistance around every teacher's neck. Three pushes of the button on this badge will send a nurse and a school resource officer to where help is needed. It doesn't disrupt the operations of the entire school the way the lockdown emergency um, press does. Seven pushes alerts officers of an active threat in the school, something Hammond Creek Middle School principal Lori Johnson says has so far only been used in a drill or by accident. It's happened once or twice. Um, but, but when it happens, it's like I'm getting goosebumps just saying it. We immediately felt a shift in Johnson's demeanor when we asked her to test it out. That process immediately puts the entire school on lockdown. Blinking red lights alert teachers someone may be in the building. They're told to lock doors, get to a safe space, and to take attendance. So I'm going to turn off my lights. Police would already be on the way. The badge dispatches them to their exact classroom. If I had kids in here, I'd immediately have them get on the ground. Blinds are closed, and in moments, the room turns pitch black. Yep. It's something Johnson says she doesn't think would ever happen here, but she knows it's better to be prepared. She still had a job to do the day after 19 kids died at a school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. I asked the SRO to put our flag at half staff and did a moment of silence on on the announcements in the morning and we had school. A school of children, Johnson is tasked with keeping safe every day, hoping the bad things that happen outside don't happen inside. That's what we can all hope for in this world that has bad things that happen. Last month, voters in Whitfield County overwhelmingly approved an education sales tax. That means Dalton Public Schools will be getting an additional $52 million to renovate schools and improve safety measures like these. In Dalton, Liam Collins, Local 3.